Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be simplifying an expression using a quadratic equation. So we have x squared plus 7x minus 2 equals 0. And we're supposed to evaluate x squared plus 14 over x. We're going to be finding a numerical value for this. And I'll be presenting two methods. Let's start with the first one. For my first method, I'm going to use the quadratic equation. First of all, I'm going to solve it. By using the quadratic formula, you know, we find two solutions. x sub 1 is going to be negative b plus square root of b squared, which is 49, uh, plus uh, minus 4ac. That's going to become 57, divided by 2. And the other solution is going to be negative 7 minus square root of 57 over 2. Great. So we're going to use one of these roots. Which one? I'm going to use the first one. So let's go ahead and use x sub 1 and plug it into our expression that we're trying to evaluate. So we're supposed to evaluate x squared plus 14 over x. Now we're going to replace um, x with x1, but let's go ahead and square it first before we can find what it is. Let's go ahead and square negative 7 plus square root of 57 over 2. If you square that, and then we're going to add 14 divided by the x value, which is negative 7 plus square root of 57 over 2. Okay, great. Now when you flip this and multiply, you're going to get 28. And let's go ahead and square this expression right here, the radical. Uh, since it's, it's kind of like a plus b quantity squared, so we can write it as a squared minus 2ab, which is going to be 14 root 57, plus square root of 57 squared, which is 57, and that is going to be divided by 4. And here we're going to get 28 divided by negative 7 plus root 57. Now I would like to rationalize the denominator uh, for the second fraction, and obviously I want to simplify the first one. So 49 plus 57 is going to be 106 minus 14 root 57 divided by 4. And now if you multiply this by the conjugate, you're going to get the following. It's going to be negative 7 minus root 57, negative 7 minus root 57. When you multiply these, you're going to get the difference of two squares, which is 49 uh, minus um, 57. You could actually, we could probably reverse this, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. It's going to uh, get fixed. So 49 uh, minus 57, that's going to be negative 8, but this is a negative quantity, so we can kind of, you know, throw that negative outside and write it like this. So we're going to get 28 multiplied by the positive version. And instead of dividing by negative 8, I'm just going to divide it by a positive 8. Great. So now we can actually uh, either make a common denominator or simplify both of these. Uh, divide by 4, divide by 4, and then divide by 2 here, going to get 53 minus 7 root 57. Now they have a common denominator once we simplify that, and this is going to give us 49 plus 7 root 57, and that's going to be all over 2, because what I did was simplify, uh, divide by 2. Now notice that these two terms cancel out, which is very important. We want to get a nice answer. 53 plus 49 is 102, and if you divide it by 2, you're going to get 51 from there. Awesome. Great. So now we got a numerical answer, and we only use the first root. Now what happens if you use x sub 2, right? You can kind of go ahead and test it out, and here's what's, what's going to happen. When you uh, replace x with uh, x sub 2, you're going to get a different square here, and a different answer here that are just going to ba balance out. And you can kind of see for yourself how that's going to play out. Are you going to get the same answer if you plug in x sub 2? Or do you get a different answer? If you get a different answer, is this possible that uh, with our second method, we're going to find two different answers? So, so those are good questions to answer. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Okay. So I'm going to try to slow down because some people said that I'm talking too fast. Okay. 
Our second method involves the following, and obviously that's very different from our first method, because our first method, remember, involved substitution, direct substitution. So we had to solve for x, which was kind of like a brute force method, which wasn't very, you know, elegant, I think, but it's still a method that works. And we kind of had to substitute it. So we had to solve for an equation and then substitute it. So we had to deal with radicals. And imagine if you have a more complicated expression, it's going to be time consuming. Anyways, so my second method is more polynomial. And it involves um, isolating the leading uh, term, which is the power of x, uh, which is the highest power of x. Anyways, I just couldn't come up with the right term. But anyways, you get the idea. So I'm going to isolate x squared, since that's the highest power. And now, this is going to be my key all right, for solving these kinds of problems. And we've done this with, I think, cube roots of 1 and cube roots of negative 1. Anyways, so now let's go ahead and substitute this into our expression. Now we have two approaches here. Uh, it's kind of like 2a and 2b. 2b or not 2b, okay? So 2a involves basically substitution of this directly, which I'm going to follow. And 2b is making a common denominator first and then substituting x. But in this case, you have to evaluate x cubed, which can be done very easily from here because all you have to do is multiply both sides by x and then use our formula for x squared one more time. So you just have to keep doing it. And every time, you're going to get a linear answer because notice that x squared was expressed as a linear x cubed can be expressed as a linear any power of x can be expressed as a linear function basically which is what's really uh, cool about this method anyways so now we're gonna start with this and now I'm going to replace uh, x squared not x x squared with negative 7x plus 2 let's do it okay replace x squared with negative 7x oops I still got to make a common denominator. So let's go ahead and write it this way. Negative 7x plus 2 plus 14 over x. Now let's go ahead and put a 1 underneath here and make a common denominator. In other words, multiply by x. So that's going to give me negative 7x squared plus 2x. And then now since they have a common denominator, I can add them divided by x. Notice that I have a quadratic expression here. And let's go ahead and replace x squared with something again. So this method involves basically constant substitution of x squared. Now replace x squared with negative 7x plus 2. And then you're going to continue with 2x plus 14. That is all divided by x. And then we have to um, distribute, right? I was going to say substitute, but distribute. 49x minus 14 plus 2x plus 14 Last time, uh, we had the radicals cancel out. This time, x's are going to cancel out. And, well, actually, I should say numbers are going to cancel out, not the x's. Anyways, so from here, we get 51x divided by x. And finally, x's cancel out. And the answer is going to be 51. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.